Hey everybody, welcome back to Bible Fun with the Duns. Today we're in 1 Chronicles chapter number 15, so let's get started. Okay, so we're starting out a new week in 1 Chronicles. Chapter 15 is the story of when God's people were bringing the Ark of God into Jerusalem. Now remember, the Ark was made way back in the days when Moses was leading Israel. Inside the Ark, the Ten Commandments were inside the Ark, and at some point, even the staff that Aaron carried, that even though it was a dead piece of wood, it sprouted fresh, uh, fresh almonds, that was in there, and a jar filled with manna was in there. Now, we don't know if those things stayed in there the whole time, but the Ark of God was important. And so they're bringing it into Jerusalem because it seems that wherever the Ark is, there's blessings. It's been at a guy's house. His name is Obed-Edom. It's been blessed. His whole house has been blessed. And now David wants to bring it in. Now remember, back just a couple of chapters ago, when they tried to bring the ark back first, there was a guy named Yuza, and he touched the ark, and what happened to him? He died. He died. Now, chapter 15 is a good reminder that a general respect for God, just generally respecting God, isn't really good enough. Instead, there should be obedience, and we should always, always keep and follow his commands. Now, when you begin reading through this, you got to be able to kind of pick up what David's doing. Here's what he's doing. He, he gets the Levites and he puts them in charge of carrying the ark because he's wise enough to have learned from his past mistakes. And I'm going to tell you this, in life, it's often, it's often a true test of like maturity of whether or not we're able to learn from our mistakes and to kind of keep going. In order to serve the Lord, we need, to, we need to be ready to serve the Lord, set apart to serve the Lord, and serve the Lord on his terms. Mm -hmm. Now, Jackson, what did you get out of this chapter? Okay, so in the previous chapter, we, uh, that was a real dead voice crack, but anyway, <laughs> um, in chapter number 14, uh, we see David, and he's trying to move the ark, but he's kind of doing it his own way, um, and this is not the way that God instructed him to do, and this is also the same way that the pagans and the Philistines uh, transported the ark. So um, there's some kind of correlation there. there you but go. anyway, um, so it did not work out, and it ended up really badly. Like, a guy died. Um, sure. So, uh, But now in this chapter, we see David doing things God's way in the way that it was intended to be. And um, in the end, it's all done right, and uh, they transport the ark. And it says that David ends up, uh, he gets like this whole orchestra, this whole band out, and then he starts singing and dancing. Um uh, kind of as a testament to his joy and this is really this is a really good picture of like uh, what we can do in our own lives like when um, we do something and we do it the way God says to do it and um, uh, we just do stuff that God tells us to and commands us then um, we live our lives through joy and we have um, like a sort of peace and happiness yeah I don't think it's a mistake that David's joy and his happiness and his peace followed his obedience mm -hmm. so as he obeyed then we have these then we have these feelings of peace and joy we, we see all that happen i'm telling you my own life um i experienced that joy and that peace during obedience not in disobedience but through obeying god matter of fact it makes me think of something jesus said in the new testament in uh in luke six forty six, jesus said why do you call me lord lord and do not do the things which i say and so there there's something there about about learning from him now let's put ourselves in the context of this who's writing the book of first chronicles ezra and who is ezra writing to He's writing to all the Jews who have come out of exile back into Jerusalem, and they're rebuilding their society. Well, a major part of that population is a group of people who will be working inside the temple. They are called the Levites. So Ezra is retelling these stories. He's reminding these returning Levites of their historical work. Why? Because they're going to have to continue this work on. Now, in order to do this, they're not just going to have to faithfully serve. They're going to have to faithfully serve God every single day. Just like they did back in the days of David, they're going to have to do it again. The next thing is, one of the things in Chronicles is there's always lists of names. I love that because that means that God is a name-knowing God. He knows our names. He knows us. He knows where we are. He knows where we live. He knows what we're supposed to be doing. He knows us. 
And even though, my favorite part of this is, even though uh, there's a lot of instruments that are mentioned in this passage, the bulk of the passage is just about their singing. So even though God gave his people creativity to use a lot of instruments, the most biblical and most wonderful instrument God gave the world is the human voice to praise him. I like that. Then this chapter ends with a really weird voice, a really weird verse, because David comes into the city and he's celebrating, and there's a lady that's not, not happy about it. It's his first wife, Michael. We would probably call her McCall. So she's not happy that David is dancing. Why do you think that Ezra includes just this little verse in here? I'm going to tell you why. Because do you remember how the book of Ezra ended? It ended with there being tension and friction in the marriages between the people of God and those who had married outside the family. Remember that at the end of the book of Ezra? So now those same people are reading this and going, oh, even David knew what, what it was like to get in trouble with, with marriages. All of this is meant to tell these people what God has brought us through before, he will bring us through again. All right, we hope you enjoyed your reading. We'll see you tomorrow in chapter number 16. Bye.